All right, guys, I'm back at it again. So, based on the install video, I'm sure you all figured out that the threads on one of my calipers were stripped. Um, I ended up going and putting the calipers on uh, and I had everything fastened up to correct torque spec uh, and then I went to fasten the very last bolt on and it just the threads just let loose so that being said um, I did feel that one or two of the other threads in the calipers were soft I want to say so I'm going to just call it and say you know what I'm going to Healy coil every single one of these. So this is going to be a Healy coil how-to for Brembo calipers. I have my nice Brembos all buttoned up here with, and they're ready to go. I'm just needing the Healy coil. So what I need, what you'll need, is an actual Healy coil kit. So, what that looks like is this. So I have a Healy coil kit here. It comes with the coils itself, as well as the inserting tool to screw the Healy coil into the into the uh, inset, and then a breaker piece. And the nice kit thing that I like about these kits is it comes with the proper drill out size and the proper uh, tap size. The other thing that this kit did not come with was an actual holder for the tap. So that's what I had. Um, the rear Brembos are an M10 by 1.5 coarse thread. Uh, and if you got the fronts, Brembos that you're needing to do this on. This is, I guess, for Subaru specific. They're M12 by one and a half as well, so this kit's a different thread. So I'll have to buy the Healy coils for the M1 and a half. So, step one is to drill out. So I have the bit with the proper size for the M10 by one and a half. You're going to drill out the holes and I'm going to drill out all four of these holes. And then after the drilling's done, I'm going to tap the holes. And then after tapping, then I'll insert the Healy coils into the threads and I'll lock them in with uh, Loctite. It doesn't take long. The actual precise part is drilling, so I'm going to go and do that. You want to drill, make sure you're even, horizontal, and not drilling at any side angles or anything. You just want this to be straight on. So you have to, obviously, if you have a vise, it might work a little nicer for drilling. She's drilled. I'll do a little clean up. Now I'll go ahead and start tapping. So since these will sit against the frame, you want to tap from the back side in. Kind of get a good sense of how thin this material is just by doing this. Okay, 
So I think I'm all the way through. Now it is time to insert a Heatley coil. Okay, so that's how my new thread looks. I'll insert the Healy coil now. So what you want to do is grab some Loctite, red Loctite that is, and you're going to take the Healy coil, stick it on to the insert tool, and then just screw it down in. Inserting this one. Inserting the Loctite. I'll just spin this. Insert that in. Just get that first thread in. And then break that tang off. We're in business. Last heel of coil to insert.
slowly that's in. Just the amount that I want it to be in so it's flush. Now break the little tang on the bottom side there. Awesome, so the going rate of this now is I will wait for everything to dry. Um, a lot of people online are saying it takes about a night, I should let it dry overnight, so that's what I will do. I'll let it dry overnight and then I will start mounting it onto the car. And that's a Healy coil. And I've done all four. Whether that be good or bad or not remains to be seen. But that's what I'm at. Thanks for watching. Please, if you like this video and want more technical stuff from me, comment, subscribe, please let me know what you think. Uh, I'm very keen on giving custom content like this. I like to do installs and stuff. I also like to do fixes. Uh, let me know in the comments what you liked, what you didn't like. Uh, and please subscribe, guys. Thanks.